Hi felters, welcome. A lot of people ask, how do you know when something is felted enough? So you take your wool, you roll it up, you start felting it, and after about five minutes, you look at it and you say, is it done? And the ultimate answer is gonna be, it's going to be down to you. There are people that like to do soft felting, and there are people that like to do harder felting. The main argument is if something is needle felted quite hard, it is definitely going to last a long time and it's really sturdy. So this unicorn, he is quite hard felted. There's a lot of resistance when I go to squish him. There's not too much fuzziness. He is really strong. He has a wire frame as well. This BB-8 I did. Again, he squidges in and out. I did not overly felt him in the middle, but the edges I felted so they're quite neat. But then if you were to take this sheep, obviously the coat is the effect that I wanted. I don't have too many softly felted items, but this, if that was left as the outside and it was that squidgy all the way in, he's going to be a lot softer and maybe not last as long. So that's the main argument. Just to show you a quick difference, that one's been felted for a couple of minutes. It's very fuzzy and I can squeeze it all the way down. This has been felted for quite a while. It's a lot more resistant. It's harder for me to press it in and it's less fuzzy. So let's go through and look at a couple of things close up. So that fuzzy thing that I just showed you, I then went on and needle felted half of it. So the first side has been done for probably about two minutes. And then the other side, I probably did it for another two minutes. And you can really see the difference there. So if you push your finger into it, your finger really disappears on the soft side. Sorry, I'm holding the camera whilst trying to do that. Um, so the hearts are really well felted. The clouds, see it's really firm and it bounces back out, but that um, soft bit there, your finger just disappears into it. So if you take um, a bundle of wool, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you not quite in real time because I forwarded it up, but I show you how long it takes to do a little round ball. So squash it up. Um, as small as you can and this will save you time. I am using carded wool which if you follow me you know that that is something I really love. If you are doing this with a roving or tops type wool it's going to take you longer. Have a look at my wool video if you don't understand the difference. I'll put the links in the descriptions of all the other videos that I've got. Now I am just needle felting this round and I'm trying to sort of almost tack it into place so I'm going all the way around and just to keep the shape of the round ball. So I've only gonna gonna have been done doing this for about a minute and we're gonna have a little look at it. So it's really squidgy. It's not quite formed yet anyway. I wouldn't be happy to just leave it as is. Um, so we're gonna carry on and I'm going to do another minute. I forwarded it up so it's only 20 seconds or so. I did say at the beginning how much you felt something is up to you and it kind of is to a degree but you're gonna have to felt it a bit in the first place so it will hold its form it's not like you can felt it for 30 seconds and it's done it's all about patience and time with needle felting so another minute's gone by that's two minutes still quite squishy very light and bouncy so I'm going to do another minute I think this one is and you can actually see when it's not done already or felted that as you um, felt it you can see where you felt it quite clearly it sort of shows and as you get more and more to where you'd be happy with it it's harder to see the bits that you felt it and the bits you haven't so this is a good three minutes it's not bad personally I would go for longer and so I think this section I do another two minutes and I forward it up quite a bit so let's see how it turns out after this. Um, one thing I'm gonna show you as well is how you hold the needle. So there we go, that was I think another two minutes, that one. So in all, we're on to about four minutes. So when you put the needle in, you don't have to go too far down. If you see, all the barbs are at the end there, so you don't have to poke it all the way through to the mat. You only have to go a, sh a little bit in and if you poke the needle in and put your thumb there you can see you're actually putting the needle in more than you think so this is another two minutes we're adding on here i've really speeded up so i think ultimately we're going to be at the five minutes and that is a lot lot better it's a lot more resistant to the squashing i always give it a little roll to help get a smooth finish 
So this is the white bit before I felted the end of it. So you can see it's very fuzzy. You can pull bits away from it. This, it's harder to pull the bits. You can pull if you really, really try, but you can see there's a, there's a big difference. And if you wanted to get a smooth finish, I'd take a finer needle. Again, I do videos on needles, and I also do a video on how to get a smooth finish, which is really good. I did a load of experiments on things. Um, so I'd take the fine needle, and I'd go all the way through it, and then I'd be quite happy with it, and it would be done. So I do garlands with balls and things like that. So there we go, it's quite squishy. Just showing you the hearts again, because they're really firm. I did them with cookie cutters. And they come out really well they're so easy to do so there we go I hope that has helped you wouldn't stay still <laughs> um, thanks for watching these are some of my items that are hard felted and if you like the video subscribe like and comment thanks